Hello, my lords and ladies, and welcome to episode 5 Ugh. of The Legend of Maxentius, my Let's Play of Skyrim. I'm Pitch Dark, an and we are going to be heading protectors. around Solitude the to um, check things out, to see to what's been going on. To the days uh, we're going to go someplace gone. quieter. For the age um, of so I already talked to, to Carrie and our lady about it, and they're going to wait wait in the winking skiver while I, I take a look around, question people. Um, figure out what what happened um, with with Torig and you know whether or not um, I'm not interested. Who, who knows? Maybe what you did was justified. I I don't know, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. it seems like the, most of the people are against what he did. Um, it may be a a, a Nord custom or a, a Nord thing to be able to challenge the the High King, but it seems like he did it a little sneakily and. Um, what is it? Dragons? You know, not, um, not very honorable. So, um, yeah, we're gonna check this out, see what uh, what people are thinking. Maxentis has already sort of made up his mind. He's not very happy about what happened. You, so, you help me. Um, you help people, right? That's you know, you he, he just wants to see what really what um. The, the Yarl of Solitude is like um, Tora's wife, uh, Al also I think her name is. Um, and, um, you know, see what she's like. Maybe she's not good for the for the future of Skyrim. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Your Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Well, she seems to care about her people. Thane Bryling, at your service. Uh, Thane Maxentius. I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. Hey, thank you. Do you have business with the court? Um. Yeah, what will happen? We will. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. That's true. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Okay. Feel free to return to me with questions. I will, thank you. The Blue Palace is an open forum. The Imperial... Bryling's obsession with honor and tradition is quaint, but... Politically irrelevant. So what's your place? I'm a Thane. You too. In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Oh. Risk of looking like an idiot and all oh, that. Oh, I don't like you. Oh, most certainly. At least when Elisif herself asks. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, let me put it this way. The Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius's leadership. Ah, uh, so you really support General Tullius. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. Yeah, I'm, I bet, because you really seem important. By the way, Be I'm quick. a Thane too. I you have little ask. patience for mundane concerns. I have so I very many ways to deal with people. Solitude. Very and few of them Ellison pleasant. Uh, yeah, where were you? I was to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. How did it happen? Ulfric showed up at the gates of Solitude, requesting an audience. 
We thought he was here to ask Torg to declare independence. By the time we realized Ulfric was here to challenge Torg, it was already too late. So he didn't give it give him time to prepare, did he? By Nord custom, once the challenge was issued in court, Torg had no choice but to accept. Had he not, Ulfric would have had cause to call a new moot and a new vote for High King. Torg had some martial training, of course, but it mattered little that day. When Ulfric's lips parted, when he unleashed the power of the Thum, that shout, that ancient and terrible tongue, ripped Torg asunder. So it wasn't a fair fight at all. Okay, well thank you for your time. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. I am the Arrow Steward. Advice, thank you. If you have court you business, to don't know why I'm doing you that. You talk to me. I my Arrow. Wonder, if you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Can the Thum be taught? I just have a question. Steward? Why did he kill you, Lister? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torik. And so he came before my husband, and he... He shouted, with that terrible voice, like something out of a legend, or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say, for it grieves me to speak of it. That makes sense. It really is feeling for her right now. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. After all, they're family. And no one knows that, of course, except for him. But, you know, he feels that he has a, a duty to, to the man that fathered him, really. So, what happened wasn't right. Yulfric should not have challenged him in that way. It should have been, if he really wanted to, it should have been. What is in it, a, Imperial? You know. Kind of in a different setting, I would I would say so, uh, where Torg would have at least had time to uh, prepare for it. And then he used a voice on him, which you know we we don't really understand that much about the voice. I mean, we could do it a little bit, did it once, you know, but the Emperor's cousin Victoria you know, Vici is getting married. It doesn't seem that powerful yet, anyway. So uh, for him to use it to the point where he could tear a man apart, that just just isn't right. Yes. So maybe he was losing, and he had to do it, which makes him even more of a coward. So we're gonna find General Tullius, and we're gonna join the Legion. Yes? There it is. Hello? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Seems like it. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Um, yeah, we already met. Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I helped Hadvar escape. He said he vouched for me. Hadvar's alive? Mm -hmm. I hope that's true. Thanks to me. He's a damn good soldier. Oh, really but he hasn't no. reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. It was. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. Really? He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Um, Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. Can't let that it's happen. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. 
If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. <clears throat> Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Well, he's a bit of a hothead, but sir. he makes sense. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Alright, you got it. What kind of test? The kind that evaluates your usefulness during... duress. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. The Ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Yes, this is a test. I don't think you're regular militia material. I want to see what you're capable of. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. Alright, you got it. Of course, I'm not really gonna go alone. Sir. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. Another quiet day. I hope. All right. So, what time is it? 6:22 p.m. And apparently, there is a new DC announcement. Okay. So, um, we will head back to the weekend. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Hmm. We'll get a rum. Hmm? Welcome to the winking ski. Should sure a good thing. night's rest, and then in the morning we're gonna head out and, and take that fort. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. You know, I know that the Daedric armor is like the best you can get, but it looks so bad on me. It makes my hips look like a moose. <laughs> I am oh, your sword wow. and your shield. <laughs> I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Alright, I really don't need him to show me where the, the room is either works. Alright, so we're gonna sleep till let's see. We need to buy horses, so I gotta make sure the, the stable's open. We'll get a lot of sleep because we're gonna we need it. We've been through a lot the last few days. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Sure. And just everybody come into my room, that's fine. Have you seen any of the plays that the bards call it? Mind yourself in my city, Freda. This here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight. Comes with a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord oh, art. Yeah, believe, believe the dragon boy. Long life to you. I know you're celebrating, but it's it's time to go. All Skyrim's foes. Beware where the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. Into this dragonborn. You'll thing, know, but... hey, you'll you changed. Know the and you're not gonna follow me. You have to follow you stay me outside. Out of trouble right? now. 
The Castle Dower you Dungeon can break now. even the strongest will. Now you're wearing like ebony armor. That's cool. Alright, let's see. Let's go over. Ugh. Oh, don't tell me you gotta take a bath again, Lydia. Okay. Where's Carrie? Is she not gonna follow us now? Oh, that's gonna suck. I have a coin or two. I wonder if I have to click you know and then when I get no response. Oh, now she's. That must have to go in and out of the. whatever place I, I told her to relax in or something, I don't know. As long as she comes along, no big deal. I have the convenience horses mod, so when I buy horses or a horse, um, my followers will also get a horse, which is awesome. No easy I always felt bad having them the of run behind, behind the horse. Like yeah. like, yeah, you can run while I ride the horse, because I am better than you. This land's tough and unforgiving, but beautiful too. The Emperor's cousin, Vittoria Vici, is getting married soon. The reception would be popular. Anyone in solitude yeah, will attend. let's be my cousin. This is really strange for Maxentius. To be hearing stuff like that. You got business at the stables? Work hard for the future, and leave the past be. That's what I'm here for. What are you offering? Uh, how about a thousand? Good enough for me. It's the one with the saddle. Okay, and I like to buy a horn. Of course. So the horn will summon. Oh, I don't have that. If you're heading up to Solitude, you should stop to oh, yeah. out to view on your way. It's a good one. All right. Let's, um, grab our horse. Right, see the horses up here and the mount them. It's pretty awesome. All right. Um, those mages up check the map. Let's see what this place is. Pretty sure I know where it is. All right, so off we go. Have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. Oh, we know there's one less. And I hope to never see one again. The one we kill is definitely smaller than the one that attacked Hathorn Pelican, so it's not the same one. So we know there's another one out there at least. This isn't crazy about the Thalmor. Even though they are allies, well, somewhat allies to the Empire. I saw the devastation that they did as, as a child, and he not too fond of them. A thief, he won't attack us when we're on horseback, so that's fine. Let's 
So when you think about it realistically, we're we're pretty well armed. We have other people with us. Somewhere. Carry. Okay. So yeah, he's not gonna attack all three of us. Back up. Uh -oh, I don't think they know we're here. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, they, since they know we're here. Come on, doesn't it? Bastard. 
Damn it. These damn crossbows. Alright, I gotta take it easy. Come on, ladies. I think they probably know we're here. That's a flag. I'm shooting at a flag. Oh. Oh, okay, no, that's somebody up there. Alright, we're gonna have to go get him. Good job, ladies. Alright. 
A little hairy, but we did it. Oh, just for the most part. Is that Lydia standing back there? They don't seem to be acting really strange. They're not really following me. Can't hide from me. Oh, there's something else. Someone else in here somewhere. There you are. Okay, apparently you see me. The Argonian maid. Someone must have slipped that into the What happened to Lydia? There she is. Alright. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a crossbow. Winterhold. You want the college there? They teach quite a bit. Is someone there? Still on her, so we don't need to grab any of this stuff.
wasn't sure what that was. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Let's get going then. This is life. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. Can't find out the prison. Play my part. I'll take some of the books. Read up on the history. Still taking that. Seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of Yorland Greymane. Alright, we did it. We cleared out the fort, so now the Legion can take it. And uh, we proved ourselves that we are worthy. I guess if I let, you know, 
Lydia and uh, Carrie take up the lunch of the force and be so bad. Good job, ladies. Carrie. Ugh. Carrie. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. Still here. Uh, I want her to be important right now. I don't want her Lead on. Of her dying yet. Like I said, until they, they annoy me. Or something like that. There there's certain um, uh, companions that I like to keep around. Actually Carrie's the first this is the first time I'm using her. Um, but Lydia, you know, I, I like to keep them, keep them around, and then if I come up with any other companions that I'm not that fond of, trash is another's I won't make them important so they have a chance of dying. To make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. So that's enough horse. But he is horse. Look at this. Nothing but a problem. Oh, actually, Carrie's kind of a problem too. Are you coming? Okay. All right. You keep memorizing spells, though. That's good. Those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. So I think just head back to Solitude. Let them know how awesome we are. Come here. You won't get the best of me. Come on. Come on. Assassin. I love him take over. God's help us. Ah. Oh. That's good. Back brother with shoulder pads. Hmm. I'll take that. Regenia sword. Okay, I'll take everything. What's the note say? Has instructed you to eliminate Vexentius by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. Really? Oh no. You hear all this talk about a war? I hope it never comes here. Um. If, have you noticed that we are fighting a war right now? I mean, those were bandits, but. There, it was inevitable. This land's tough and unforgiving, but beautiful too.
on the solitude. Solitude is good. to watch them over and over because they just seem to be going off doing their own thing. This way. Ever onward. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outside you. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. They say the college has been snooping around. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a face. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. Thank you. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. Oh, don't sigh. In joining the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Are you prepared to make that commitment? I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out oh, how many stop dragons Stop talking there are about the Skyrim. mages. Yes, I am ready to take the oath. Well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. And unwavering Ugh. obedience to the I'm officers of his no, great empire. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. Long live the Emperor, long live the Empire. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Speak to Baron. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legget Ricca has a special assignment for you. All right. Don't worry. I'll play my part. Tell me again why I'm wasting men yeah, chasing after a Welcome to the Legion, Oxen. If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, it won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock Welcome in Welcome to the Legion, conditions. Auxiliary. Listen up. Chose the king. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged yeah, Crown. Stalker, aren't you? We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjune. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Alright, you got it. What is the Jagged Crown? A legendary crown, dating back to King Harald's time, or before. A powerful relic of a golden age, long since past. Legend has it that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. Well, we can't have that happen. Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus Everyone. when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Lushan campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely found it. Okay. Don't so wait to get that. Get to Corvin June as soon as you're ready. I'll the meet you there. All right, let's not go. everyone's agreed Ladies. to the moot. Excuse me. You've been here long enough to know yeah. that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. Be Sorry. careful! So what? 
you're Alfred in my way. Gets this crown and then suddenly he's hot. I felt bad that I shoved her like that. <laughs> she would not move. <laughs> Watch the skies, traveler. All right, so we're in the Legion now. I don't know. Maybe we'll talk to him later and get some some Legion attire. I don't, I don't know. Especially with fighting for the Legion. I've got a little bit for a real I don't understand that, but you can afford a septum or two. You know, and I don't know if I want to, uh, to dress the like the, of the Legion. Let's hope that it ends. So I think um I'm right behind you. Yeah, I think we're gonna end it here. Um, I don't, I don't want to make these too too long, uh, but um, you know Lydia and, and Carrie and I have a lot to discuss. I need to let them know um, who I am, and um, because if they're gonna follow me and, and fight for the Legion, I want them to know why I'm doing this. So, and let them make their choices whether to follow me or not. So. Um, with that, I'm going to end it, and um, thank you for watching. If, if you like these, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. It, it helps a lot. Um, and uh, take care.